All right, hello guys. It's Red Gamer Cat eighty eighty back here with another Age of Civilizations video. Um, yeah, yeah, I did. Like yesterday, I come in here with my promise, strong as ever, upholding this promise. We are going to be doing today. A scenario that has internal war and that scenario is this problem is guys I do not remember making a scenario and I do not remember this being here before I literally do not remember this being here before But, we are going to give it a try. Because why not? So, <clears throat> we're doing spectator mode. We're doing a tunnel war. Alright guys, here we go. Honestly, the most excited, I, the one thing I'm most excited for is the Byzantine Empire versus the Western Roman Empire. So, we'll see how this all goes down. So, first of all, Papal States might have a good off, but not right away. And they are probably going to annex the Papal States. At least I think. Immediately, the Western Roman Empire is just falling to pieces. Where's the Papal States? I mean, yeah, but, I mean, is there another territory? Oh, that. I didn't realize that. Oh, they're going to get crushed soon. Honestly, these guys are doing not the worst of holding up. But they've done battle. And it does look like the, I'm not pronouncing this, is honestly having a good control over like the whole Arabian Peninsula. Uh, Abyssinia is reclaiming all of the East Africa, basically. Congo is fighting here, I guess. Oh. Oh, they pieced out. So these guys are pieced out. They're okay, so they don't have any opinions right now. But I'm guessing these guys are trying to get close so they can go to fight each other. Now that's going to be horrible, guys. Let's see. So Molly looks very huge. I just want to say that. Um, I don't know how they're going to, you know winning stuff like the these guys I don't know how they're gonna win against these like it's number nine yeah number nine that's insane also Mazab is doing a really good job inside northern Africa so I'm gonna give a round of applause applaud I, I cannot talk I cannot talk right now. Applause. A round of applause. It does look like they pieced out with the Jared. I butchered that. Gascony looks like they own basically most of Iberia, basically all of it. Except for, of course, the Austrias. And the Western Roman Empire is doing horrible. Like, they just fell, basically. And honestly, the Byzantine Empire has been doing a good job at resisting and keeping up. I don't know who the country is. This is. Okay, this is in Moldavia. Okay. Let's check in in Asia. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like... I'm not trying to pronounce it. Is doing pretty good though. Hmm. 
Yeah, nothing's really happening right now. It's just boring stuff. But down here, it's probably very entertaining. I have been s sorry. Who is this? Because they're looking good. But you know that's probably what they started with. So, yeah. I mean, they're actually getting invaded. So I wouldn't say they're entirely doing good. But they are doing good against the Parthian Empire, which look. Yeah. What country is this? Huh. So, this country is doing a pretty good fight against the Byzantine Empire. Now, the Byzantine Empire looks like it's about to fall in a moment. Gascony looks like it's going to be the new Western Roman Empire now. Subi, which is a horde, um, is doing pretty alright, but it's falling. It's falling. Honestly. Honestly, Byzantine, you have a lot more foes to worry about, like down here, it's, I'd say. I mean, at least you. No, you don't have a single troop in Istanbul, which should be called Constantinople, but. I mean, they have to keep it that way because most of the history. Turkey owned it. I mean, actually, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below. Did the Greeks, which will even count the Byzantine and the Romans, own more of Constantinople or Istanbul, or did the Turks do? Let me down below in the comments below if you do know this. You, you're able to go on Wikipedia and research, do calculations and stuff. Western Roman Empire is trying their bestest. But I don't know. Where, where are they go? Oh, down there? What? I mean, alright. Okay. Are they gonna peace out? No? Probably not. Yep. They're gonna get finished. Oh. Oh. They were just. Okay. They just wanted to be nothing. Okay, well, that's weird. Alright, fine. They just want to say, hey, we're rebellion, so we can be uncivilized. I, 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 I just can't talk today, can I? It does look like Corda Corda is doing really good. Nothing's happening inside North America because it's Pretty sure it's wasteland, yeah. It's wasteland. So yeah. And also guys, stay guys if you want to see some extra content in that is gonna be inside this video, I'd suggest you stay for a bit later. Because once we're done with this one, guess what guys? Well, I'm not going to tell you yet. You guys are going to have to see once we get to that. I'm not going to tell you guys. Unless you guys stay. So, Mazab has pieced out with this. It's not bad, honestly. I will say that. Like, they're fighting against, like, they've gone past Egypt. I think these guys have done the best inside, like... Northern Africa. Like, they pieced out with. I'm pr pretty sure these guys. No, no, they are not. Okay, great. Then these guys are gonna probably be gone. Oh my. You're. This looks like, um. What is that game? I forgot what it is, but basically it looks like a border goal gore game. I think that's. No, that's not soupy. Okay, great. So far, Subi has looked like it's trying its best to reform Germany. I don't think it can reform Germany, but it's really cool. Um, yeah. Hmm. Have these guys pieced out with me? No, no? Okay, fine. 
where the boy it was doing at least good in um Mally. And it still is, still is. Wait, is that there, guys? Is that seriously a world wonder? I do not know what that is. I, I'm not even kidding. What is that thing? And for someone who studied geography, you think I know the world wonders. That's sad, honestly. That I, because usually it, it loot like the road statue. Usually these things are being shown, you know? Like how Greece somehow has this thing here, the temple, and the statue of Rhodes. Yeah, so I'm surprised they don't add like this Statue of Liberty or the Eiffel Tower here. That'd be fun to have. Even though it probably isn't like um, the World Wonder, but it'd still be awesome. Like the Big Ben, that'd be very awesome, I feel like. It is cool that they had the World Wonders, like, being shown. What? What? Like, how they have down here. Is it this one? Hang on. I, I don't know. Huh. Like, I could have swore I've never made this before. I've never made this scenario before. I don't know. Anyways, um, Matcha Hoppet is doing pretty good. Um, Tondo, I've heard of that. Is that inside Japan? I could have swore. No, because, wait, what? Huh? Oh, look, another one. This is cool to find these stuff. Um, what other ones are out there? I don't know, I don't care right now, but still, it's cool. It's cool. Like, they should have that little uh, church one there. Ma um, Moscow. Burgundy is doing pretty alright, I will say. Does look like they've gotten all their land back, so that's good. Somehow, the Western Roman Empire was still alive. I don't know how, but they're doing it. They're somehow alive. I think that, yeah. Why aren't these guys fighting each other? Wouldn't it make sense if these guys fight each other since they're, like, I fine. And these guys have been peaceful, honestly. Like, are they not at war with each other? They aren't. Wow. And you know what? What's crazy? These guys are probably going to win because of that. They're going to win because they've been peaceful. Actually, I think Iceni is the closest to reforming the British Isles, and they might win. So it looks like the Empire of Subi is starting to fall a bit. Let's see the Byzantines. They're... Doing not the worst, but still, they fell quite a bit. That's like the shape of, um, I think it's like the 1820s or something like that, when Greece became independent. Kamenia, what are you doing here? You were supposed to be from here, and you came down there. That just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, they've seen great your days and they're like in, oh no I'm not in that now looks like they're trying to get peace with some people but it does look like they are winning quite a bit so that's okay I I just keep on jinxing these people's empires yeah I'm just gonna be quiet So, yeah. We're gonna go to 555, five, five, guys. Till we get to the surprise, guys. Oh, 
let's. Alright, well, it's now 555. Five, five. Let's see what has all happened since, like, tons of stuff just happened. Turkic Cognet is, looks like it's doing pretty good. It's 12. Molly is just dominating crazy. Um, the Byzantines looks like it has taken over all of, or most of, Northern Africa. Gascony is basically taken over all of Latin Europe, basically. Iberia and France. Burgundy started to come back. Serbia was kind of big before. Basically taken all of Germany, then basically all of Southern Germany. And now just this. Yeah, they fell, basically. So, also, Denmark looks like they're doing pretty good. Let's check out here. So, number 10 is Gascony. I mean, that does make sense. They've gone a lot. Next up is Burgundy, which I feel like makes less of sense. I don't know. Comenia, which makes sense. Um, that country, which actually makes sense. Western Roman Empire, I don't believe that. They have really felt off badly. I don't believe that as much. But all right, all right. Majahabit, which is that Indonesian country. Yeah, they're doing pretty good. They got Burma and stuff. I can see that. Byzantine Empire. Can't believe the hot, not higher, but honestly, they fell than as before. Yeah, Gupta. Wait, what? What? Is it? what? It's there. Wait. Then Chi. Really, Chi. She's the best. I, I, mean, I can see here down in Southeast Asia. I can. Alright guys, it's time for the surprise. If you made it this fall, we get, well, you get, hold on guys, I gotta load it up. The Island Bell Royale. I've updated a little bit more of it, but it has over a hundred civilizations and now get to see what will happen so let's see so of course oh oh no guys i forgot my internal war is on oh man we don't want for that instantly quick we gotta let them get rebuilding quick So, of course, like usual, these guys claim back their land quickly. Um, what nations? A Cyprus has taken over Greece. You'd think an Naxos would, but I guess not. Um, Naxos has actually is actually focusing on Turkey, which is weird. Um, yeah, they are starting to take over all that. Looks like Northern Cyprus is focusing on taking over the Balkans. Yeah, now they're starting to really form it. Looks like uh, Candia, or Crete, is starting to try to become Lebanon and Syria. Um, Cyprus is also trying to take over uh, Egypt and this area here. I'm not going to name. I'm not going to name. Alright, so Sardinia looks like they're trying to take um, the like Libyan and Tunisian as own colony and stuff and such. Malta is trying to become Algeria. Let's see. Is this? No. Okay. Cape Verde, Mediterranean, uh, Mali. This is like. Togo, Benin, yeah, half of Burkina Faso, I mean, they're kind of, 
these guys are kind of all sharing it. Honestly. So, let's see. Oh. So, South America and North America have really gotten land quick. So, Bermuda has gone like. Yeah. Uh, Puerto Rico has basically became. Um, North. Not Northern, North Carolina, Turks and Caicos Islands is becoming the South. Um, Hawaii is becoming the West. Um, with California, I'm doing a California accent because. The California, so the Western, the Pacific, always speaks like there's a question. Maybe it's horrible that I'm doing a stereotypical accent. I think that's horrible. Yeah. Claim that. I mean, just claim it already. Get that. <sighs> okay, there we go. Alright, I think most of, like, like, all these have been cleaned up. Except for Asia. Asia hasn't been claimed up yet. And when it does, I think that's when wars start to break out. The thing is, it might take a bit before wars actually start breaking out, honestly. Oh, a war just happened. What other land do they have? Oh. And these guys, of course. Oh, wait. What else do they Oh, there. Well, that's gonna be a forever going war. Basically. Wait. Ireland? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I forgot. I, inc I counted Great Britain and Ireland. Yeah, I was a man. <clears throat> Because, you know, they're islands. They're not part of the mainland here. <laughs> of course, um, Bahrain's doing really good in the Arabian Peninsula. Um, Cyprus did I, of course. There might be some more wars going to be starting to break out soon, since it's starting to be claimed up. I don't know how that became. Oh, maybe it's up there. Yeah, it's up there. Okay, that's why. Russia, of course, is like middle Russia now. I don't know. What is this nation? Oh, that's Iceland. Oh. Taiwan is starting to rec reclaim China, okay? This video will probably won't be up on China now. It's all right. So, India is number two right now. Of course, it's because of probably this here. This, um, that they were able to go up all that way. Of course, now, pretty sure the last bit of land was just cleaned up. Yeah. So now wars are probably gonna start up. Which means once those wars break out, there's gonna be unhappiness. And with those unhappiness there's gonna be rebellions. And then that's gonna make more countries. Woo! Yippee. Of course, this is kind of boring now. Oh, a war. Rantanu. Fuji. Okay, great. That's just not interesting. Yeah, I'm not trained civilization names. Look. Yeah, no. Is that? Yeah, that is still Cyprus. Okay, good. Yeah, nothing's really happening, honestly. Let's increase speed. Let's do this. 
this should help a lot. Okay, yep, there's quite a bit of wars now happening. So, let's check out with our statistics. So, Hawaii and Cuba, which Hawaii is actually big and stuff. Wait, no, I don't care about that. Let's see, Cuba, which has that. Ooh, this is gonna be good, guys. An actual war is gonna happen. And yeah, there's gonna be some wars, but this is cool to see. Hawaii is doing pretty good. Like, sheesh. Oh, no, there comes Cuba back again. In. And another war breaking out that involves, like, maybe. Yeah. Oh. War here. Look at that. This is good. Lots more wars are happening. So it looks like Ireland is at war with... Oh, oh man. That's gonna be quite a bit of a war. Yeah. Good luck, dude. Now they're stuck on the Irish Pride Island now. Let's check in. Oh, Cuba is doing amazing. Now they just need an invade here. Oh, wait. No, no, mind. They don't. They just need to get to over here now. Oh, I think so. That might be some. Yep. Oh. That might take a bit, guys. Let's check on wars. Yeah, there's quite a bit more now. Let's check in South. Oh. Dominican Republic versus Barbados. Which Barbados is in that. I mean, which one's more worse I don't know Let's see any borders in Africa changing no but these guys are at war with each other uh, Bahrain versus Candia this is very awesome I will say that oh now we're inside around this time in 2024 nice That is crazy. All right, let's see. Looks like Feral Island, well, no, it looks like Goat Land is starting to go poor with them. Ooh. They're now just the, that. Whew. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like, they had to get some like, stability and stuff in it. They can't, and then there's a rebellion. Now, that would be awesome. Oh! Denmark versus Northern Cyprus. Ooh. And these guys are at war with each other. Wait, who are these guys? Oh. I can't pronounce it. Oh, sorry, guys. Hold on. I just got something. Okay. I don't care about that. So, basically, we're going to have is, what is happening is that, first of all, Phil Islands is taking over basically all of Germany and Czech, Czech Republic. Gotland is basically Poland. And Naples, oh no, that's S Sicily. Which is, um, <clears throat> Italy. So that's cool. It's like multiple wars going on. It's like so confusing and stuff. Oh, is there more action going on here? Yep. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. Something happened here. Yeah. So it's the... Inuit versus Greenland, which actually makes sense. That Inuit has taken over the whole Greenland island. If I'm correct. Please take that. That that's bothering me. Please take it. Greenland looks like they're doing all right for right now but they I might jinx it so I'm not gonna say anymore 
This, of course, looks like staying peaceful, so good job on that, St. Pio, and not going to pronounce our next name, since it's, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong. Um, this country of Malta here is at war with Northern Cyprus, which is at war with basically everyone. Yeah. Yeesh. I do not want to be Northern Cyprus. What was this? Oh, these guys are out war with Taiwan. I'm like someone else here. Papua. Huh. Interesting. Like, lots of countries do not like it. Taiwan right now. Yeah, it looks like Taiwan might be crushed. Yeah. But why aren't you gonna get that? That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Let's see. Sicily, I can see why they're number one. Because they have been maintaining, most of all, the most peace, I'd say. Right as I say that, I see this war thing. See? They just peace to Aten. Now they're at peace. Yeah. Well. I wonder if there has been any rebellions yet. Hmm. I have no idea. Is this... Oh, that's the trucks in Caicos Islands. Were these guys in being? The Cayman Islands, which I'm pretty sure are like right here. No? These guys? Which have this? Yeah, they have this. That's it. Basically. Well, yeesh. Oh, that's Jamaica? Oh, they're invading. Ah, oh, they're invading the Cayman Islands. Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Is this? What is this? Oh, that's... I have no idea how to pronounce that, but that's a weird flag. I just want to say that. Very weird flag. Oh. Bermuda is invading, um, Puerto Rico. Hmm. Interesting. So then they have to invade Puerto Rico now. Oh. And here too. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Let's see, how is Europe going? Horrible, horrible, honestly. What country is this? Oh, that's uh, Ireland, which is, uh, I'd say is doing not bad. Um, Iceland's all right. I mean, they're at peace. I'm pretty sure they've, oh, they are still in turn. Okay, that's great. Um, so, like, most of Iceland owns, like, most of the British Isles, so, which, it, it's very impressive, honestly. Um, Bahrain's looking like the next Persian Empire. Crazy. Um, Madagascar has became the Pakistan. Crazy. Also, what nation is this? Comoros. Comoros is the South Africa. Which they were attacking actually Madagascar. I didn't see that. But yeah. Wow. And boom. Wait, what was that thing there I saw? What was that? Was that a peace deal? I guess so. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna go to turn 400, which will be coming up. Then we're going to be checking who got, like, number 10 from there and stuff. So, looks like Molotov is now Yugoslavia. Crazy. Um, let's see what else. Well, now, boom. It's turned 400. Now let's see our stats. 
So, number 10, which, by the way, 11 is Japan. I mean, I can see that. They've gone pretty far. Denmark. Wow. Can't believe that, actually. Oh, maybe it's because they're in vain, Sweden. And they have all of that. Wow. Sheesh. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> number nine is Yemen. Why? Oh, it's because of this. Okay, that makes sense. Um, let's see. So then number eight, of course, is Bahrain. They got pretty far. Majorca. Eh, I can see that. Wait, how does that make sense? Like, I mean, wouldn't it wouldn't make sense if they have the border. Maybe it was because of the border. Anyways. So then we have Cyprus, which I can see that. I can see that. Russia, which obviously makes sense. Um, the Farewell Islands, which if you... Oh, wait. No. They have like this, this. Oh, and this. Okay. Yeah. And Sri Lanka, which... I don't understand. Oh, it's this here, yeah. Then India, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And then Sicily makes sense. All right. Let me just get there. Boom, boom. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.